Hello, and welcome to our last week of this Open SAP course. In the previous weeks, you learned based on many system demos how operational processes are seamlessly integrated in financial and management accounting. Many process steps of different business scenarios created a lot of automatic postings. Now we want to deep dive into financial and management accounting. You will learn in this week how to create manual postings in accounting, see how the system supports you in performing financial closing activities, and get to know the most important reports to serve your external and internal stakeholders. We already talked about the main pillars for a company to control their business from a financial perspective. In the last unit of week four, we had a closer look um, <coughs> on the pillar liquidity management. In all units of this week, we will concentrate on accounting and controlling. The circle around these two pillars shall express that these two areas are harmonized in SAP Business by Design. Contrary to what you may know, in some countries like Germany, where these, area, where these areas are often handled as separate valuation areas. As you know the slide from previous sessions, I will just use it for your orientation. This unit will focus on manual postings in accounting. These manual postings create source documents which belong to financial and management accounting, but will not create new entries in the operational business area or in any registers of the cash flow management. Now let's have a closer look on the document flow into accounting. In the past weeks, you have learned that each source document, which has an effect on accounting, is automatically recorded as a journal entry per set of books. It is important to understand that journal entries are always generated automatically, not manually. In some cases, an accountant may need to create manual postings, for example for payroll postings or special reserves. How can he do this in the system? We know that journal entries are always based on source documents. A source document can be an invoice, an, a payment, a valuation run or a journal entry voucher. A valuation run is a mass data run in accounting for valuation purposes like depreciation runs for fixed assets or foreign currency revaluation re runs for payables, receivables and cash. Journal entry vouchers are transactions which are man manually entered in accounting if needed. You can consider a journal entry voucher as a manual posting of journal entries. Valuation runs create postings automatically by making use of business transactions. You might remember Unit 3 of Week 1, where business transactions and set of books are explained by Carsten. A journal entry voucher can be done either in all set of books or, if necessary, just in one set of books. That means an accountant can adjust values only for one specific set of books, like lo Local Gap or IFRS, or for all relevant set of books. We will see this later in the system demo. Another thing I want to mention is the reversal concept in the system. Reversals are always done for the source document, for example, a journal entry voucher, a valuation run or a supplier invoice, never on any subsequent journal entry. Depending on the configuration settings, the system creates reversal journal entries as reference of the re reversed journal entries either with negative amounts or debit and credit are switched. When a journal entry is created, either automatically or manually, a journal entry type is assigned. The journal entry type allows to post to specific subledgers like inventory or work in process. The general ledger is always updated sim simultaneously, since only one document is created for both, subledger and general le ledger in financial accounting. In addition, journal entry types are used to classify uh, journal entries in accounting. If a journal entry is created automatically by a business transaction, the system uses the assigned journal entry type of that business transaction. If an accountant creates a journal entry voucher, he needs to manu manually select a journal entry type. You can create additional journal entry types to classify your manual postings. For automatically created journal entries, SAP provides pre-configured journal entry types and assigns them already to business transaction types. We will see later in the system demo which journal entry types are available. Also, we will have a look how they can be used to search for journal entries. 
In some special cases, an accountant needs to create a VAT entry that the system does not include automatically based on business transactions. This can be, for example, if goods and services are granted free of charge or within an intra-community -commu movement. For such a case, you can use the manual VAT entry in the system. Each VAT entry is entered in the tax register as an open tax item and automatically posted to the respective general ledger accounts. This is the reason why you need to use the manual VAT entry for the above mentioned examples. It is important to understand that manual tax postings created in general ledger do not create new open items in the tax register. Only entries in registers either created automatically through invoices or through manual VAT entries are regarded as an open item and are subject to clearing through VAT runs. Please note, when an accountant creates a manual VAT entry, the system does not check whether the combination of the general ledger account and the tax code entered is permitted. Now let us switch to the system demo. The first thing I want to show you is how you can create a manual journal entry voucher. You will find it under general ledger. And there you have the view journal entries and within that view there is a uh, sub-view journal entry vouchers. Here you can create new journal entry vouchers. You can do that either one by one or if you have perhaps a, a little integration you can upload it also from uh, Microsoft Excel if you get receive information from any other system which needs to be posted, for example payroll postings. I will do that now here manually. Here you see the header data of the journal entry voucher, where you have to, of course, uh, define first of all for which company you want to do the posting. Then here you can enter the set of books. As mentioned in my slides already, you can either say for one specific set of books, like here German Gap, or if you leave it empty and you have a mapping of uh, accounts between different chart of accounts um, done already in the system, then you can also leave it blank and just do the posting for all set of books uh, in with one journal entry voucher. The journal entry types you see here. So you can also do manual entries for accounts payable, receivable, um, typical examples for that are uh, that you want to depreciate anything or you want to um, um, write up anything, manual entry for cash as well, materials, sales documents, maybe also corrections are necessary if you do not want to um, to uh, reverse the original document and it's perhaps just one line item where was a mistake done, then you can do these kind of things here as well. And we have also a manual posting journal entry voucher with offset entry. This is used normally if you do accruals and you want to reverse them directly in the next period again on the first day of the next period. We will use now the manual posting, the, the gener generic one just for GL accounts without any subledger included. Um, then you have here also screen variants. Here for this journal entry type, we have only this one. You can enter a transaction currency. You have to enter a posting date. And here um, you can also enter a text. By add row, you can um, then define the accounts which will be posted to. I will do now just a correction posting for salaries uh, where maybe the wrong cost center was used. So you enter salaries, the account, then an amount. You can enter here then the cost center. And then you add a second line. You can either search by the GL account number or by the name of the GL account. Also enter a credit amount and a different cost center. You can use here this button simulate to see what the system will do, uh, how the posting will look like. Um, then you get also simulated for the other set of books, um, the journal entries. And you see here also some additional uh, determinations, um, which we will discuss a little bit later in, in other units like functional area and profit center. <coughs> if you go back, you can save the document or post it. And then the journal entries will be created automatically. 
If you do a refresh, you can see the posting now here in the overview. In addition to this uh, possibility, you can also use recurring journal entry vouchers, uh, normally also for accruals uh, and stuff like that during the financial closing activities. You see here that we have uh, some uh, jo uh, recurring journal entry vouchers available in the system. They are all for uh, payroll postings. And if you click on one of the ideas, you can see the details. So for example, you can see how is the recurrence done. It's done on every month on the 25th from the 1st of January 2013 to 2017, end of this year. Um, you see also for which company it is done, then the set of books. Um, and of course, by view all, you can then have a look what is really the posting about. So if you click on recurring journal entry voucher, you can see the details, what is posted here. If you have such a recurring journal entry voucher entered, you can also schedule um, the posting of them. Therefore, we have under periodic tasks post re recurring journal entry vouchers. So you could say always on the 31st, for example, each month the posting should take place or um, on the 25th when it's anyway um, posted with this posting date in this case here. But to make sure that all are posted, uh, the, the end of the month makes more sense. Okay, then let's have a look into the manual VAT entry. We discussed there that this is necessary maybe for some special cases. I would now use just a case uh, of a monetary benefit. You will find the manual VAT entry under tax management, manual tax entries, VAT entries. And here the same is, uh, w it works in, in a way the same like the journal entry voucher. By new you can either uh, create one new tax entry or you can also upload it from Excel. We will do now only one posting. <coughs> Again, the company is determined by my user. Um, then the currency is entered already. We'll, we will do the posting with the date today. Uh, it fits quite well to the month and closing. Uh, you can enter if you want to also a business partner and the relevant tax number. And here you add the rows. And what is now different to the manual journal entry voucher, because we are now again um, on a on a tax uh, in a register, the tax register, we are not using here a GL account directly, so you cannot enter any account numbers, but you have to use an account determination group, which needs to be defined uh, up front. So I will do now the monetary ben benefit under other income. And let's say it was um, 1,000 euro. Then I can select um, the relevant uh, tax code for that. So we just use the standard rate for Germany. And then on the other side, the uh, opposite account will be other liabilities provisions. Just see it as a kind of a clearing account. And there I uh, enter now the cross amount together with the tax. And that's it. I can do also a check. System did not find any errors. If I want to, I can also add a cost center if it makes sense in this case for this posting now uh, not. And if I'm fine with that, I can post it. Or if I'm not sure, I can just save it. I will post it right now because I want to check afterwards also the tax report. So if I refresh that right now, uh, in preparation, sorry, I have to use then a different selection. Then you see here uh, that it was posted 31st of January. So if we go now to, um, tax, uh, to the tax reports, I just want to quickly open the report, open VAT sales tax items. <coughs> and I want to enter also, or I start first of all the, the full report as it is with the default selection. You see that it's quite a lot what is still not reported. And to find our posting now a little bit easier, I will enter the posting date as we have just done it. And you see here, company 1000 payable, domestic uh, supply of goods and services, and there is our posting we just did.
Now I just want to show you also by a report in General Ledger how you can also search for uh, journal entries um, by a specific journal entry type. If you, um, oh, first let's uh, uh, take this list here. If you look here, you can already search um, by today's posting by different uh, journal entry types. You can select it here and say, for example, did I post perhaps a bank statement today? No, there's nothing po uh, found. But if I search for it for the last three days, um, we should find our bank statement we posted. There we go. There are different bank statements. Or you can also uh, use the journal entry type, let's do it by, by that, by, from the manual entry, so manual posting journal entry voucher, and then you can search for all these postings here as well. The same is true for reports, you have there this uh, selection criteria as well available, but that, that's one classification for journal entries, how to search easy in the system for them. That's it so far for the system demo, so let's go back to the slides. So let's summarize this unit with the key learnings. In SAP Business by Design, we have one unique document in accounting, which is the legal source of, truth of information. Each business transaction has a unique representation of its document in the system, a source document. It provides a clear referencing between source document documents of one common business process by the document flow and from each source document to its accounting documents. This supports compliance requirements with transparent document flow and clear audit trail. A reversal is always performed by reference only, not by sending copied data. This allows for very clear behavior in accounting and distinguishes clearly from credit memos. In Unit 2, we will have a deeper look into the financial closing activities in the system. I hope you've enjoyed this unit. Thank you for your attention and see you again in Unit 2. Bye.